Food poisoning can come in different forms and will affect people differently from others. For example, a toxin can affect everyone, whereas something else may be fine to eat, but others may be allergic to it. Generally, food poisoning will cause stomach upsets, diarrhea, stomach cramps, nausea, vomiting and fever. Depending on the level and the type of poisoning, it will affect different people at different levels. Fish and shellfish can be a major problem in food contamination, usually due to improper storage or transport. Fish and shellfish can accumulate toxins which can be passed on to the consumer once they eat them. Allergic reactions generally come from things like peanuts and food additives, but they can be caused by almost any substance. If ingested, people can have an anaphylactic reaction within minutes. They will have red, blotchy skin and swelling of the respiratory tract. If severe, this can cause respiratory arrest, where the person will stop breathing and could die. Someone who suffers from allergies will often carry an auto-injector this is a single dose syringe and it's usually administered by the person straight into the muscly part of the leg. There are three main types of auto-injector, the Jext, the Emeraid and the EpiPen. If you work in a restaurant, you're more likely to come across people who suffer from anaphylaxis. You'll need to make sure there's no cross-contamination which cause, could cause potential illness. For example, if someone says they have an allergy to peanuts, you need to make sure that any food you serve has not come into contact with peanuts or anything peanut related. This includes sauces, knives, cooking utensils or any other food product. Other reactions can be from gluten and lactose intolerance, so it's important to know what's in the food. Products such as frozen chips or sauces may have wheat on them or in them, which could be ingested and cause a reaction. The ways in which food can be contaminated has increased over the years. This is because food is now transported over longer distances. People require different foods and fruits all year round, which previously may have only been available through certain seasons. Plus, there is an increased requirement for pre-prepared foods. It used to be that people would prepare most of the food at home. Now, they're prepared in factory settings, restaurants and takeaway outlets. Allergies to egg products can be very fast and violent. If someone says they have uh, an allergy, do not ignore it and hope for the best. If you're unsure, ask the manager or the chef. Food contamination can occur in manufacturing or transportation process. For example, food that's not been kept at the correct temperature or has been contaminated by other sources, such as boxes being left outside. These are all potential ways for food to become contaminated. Refrigeration is a critical element of food storage. Food must be stored at the correct temperature to stop the growth of bacteria. In other areas of the kitchen, such as preparation areas, special rules apply to cutting, mixing and chopping surfaces. People demand a high quality of food, and if food is served below standards, they're far more likely to complain, and this has caused for to an increase of complaints to relevant authorities. If you're involved in the food industry, you have a legal responsibility to make sure the food you produce meets the relevant health and hygiene standards.